Yes YouTube, welcome back to another video and thanks for joining me. So in today's video we're going to be carrying on with this build for Bert the Panther Comedian. We need to fill in the tree trunk so we can add some plants in. But I think we need to... Oh, hang on a minute. You hungry Blue? Come on, we feed you first. Come on then. So you're probably wondering why I've got a tripod wedged in there. Well, yesterday I noticed that this was a bit loose and was had a crackle down the side. You can probably see that I've siliconed there and added some eco earth on. So I use this to wedge this into place to allow it to stick and to dry. So let's see if it's worked. A success so nice and solid the last thing I wanted to do would be planting in this and then it completely break so tripods they have many uses As you can imagine a build like this can take quite some time and has even taken me longer than I thought because I haven't done a build like this since the last rainforest room but it has set me back on some maintenance on some of the other tanks like some of the water changes and various different things so we're going to need to catch up on some of that now and we'll go over Bert's setup a little bit more later in the video so make sure you stay tuned. channel this is my 20 gallon community nano tank and it holds my harlequin raspora my galaxy raspora and we added some red cherry shrimp in there as well now if you've been following the channel for quite a while you'll know that this tank has quickly become a red cherry shrimp breeding ground and they've absolutely exploded there's so many shrimp in this tank and we did set this up as an aquascape initially and i'll leave the link down in the description for that video but it's quickly become just an overgrown moss tank for the shrimp so in the future we'll probably upgrade this tank to a nicer tank and probably an opti white sort of tank just to make it match the rest of the room but i'm really happy with the stocking obviously we've got a ton of red cherry shrimp now but i do have a 250 waze thermo on this on this tank now i'm running this for my father-in-law to cycle it for one escape i'm going to be doing for him but i just want to double check that the intake for the filter does have small holes but i just want to double check there's no shrimp getting into the filter so we're going to take the pre-filter out, double check that over, give it a clean, and then I'll rejoin you in a little bit. 
Okay, so we're gonna try and clean the pre-filter now. So if you're cleaning this, just make sure you do it in tank water so you don't kill the bacteria. Okay, so good news, we managed to check the filter, give it a clean over, you can see how easy the Wazi filters are to clean. But I did take the pre-filter out and there was no shrimp in there, which is great news, so hopefully they'll continue to breed in there. And then we'll produce more and more and more. Okay, so now we've got the paper towels in. I added those in so when I put the foam into the logs, it doesn't fall straight through. So it just allows the foam somewhere to purchase and then obviously it'll expand and fill out those spaces. So then when we've done the other sides, we can go ahead then and start planting into the logs, which I think is gonna look absolutely amazing. Check some pothos, some creeping figs, some whatever you think of really, some bromeliads. And I think that's gonna look really, really nice as a centerpiece then. But now we've got the paper towels in, we just need to add the foam in and then leave it to dry and then we can carry on. Now when you're making any bioactive setup, it's really important you try and think of the end product and what you're trying to achieve and to make sure that it works for you. So in the past I know when I've put branches in, I've put them in the wrong places where the heat and the lights are not going to go, so it's really important that you think about these things before you make it, just because you need to make sure the animal can get to the heat source, it can get to the UVB, it can get to water, and also if you want to add plants in, that you put enough spaces to add plants. Now in Castro tank I've actually picked bits of the background out to add more plants in, now if I was to do that tank again, I'd probably add more spaces up high for plants. So try and think of these things, and if you're gonna add in areas where you're gonna put plants, are they gonna survive in that area? Are they too close to the heat, too close to the light? So it's quite difficult when you, when you first start out, but you will learn as you go along, and just try and think about these things before you start the build.
Now I hope you've enjoyed today's video. We managed to get a little bit more done on Bert's enclosure. The progress has slowed down a little bit, but in the next couple of videos we'll be completing the two sides, adding the branches in, and then we can start setting it up with plants and all the exciting stuff. So that's something that really interests you and you're not yet subscribed to the channel. If you do me a massive favour and show me that support by hitting that subscribe button and smashing that notification bell. As always, if you're a regular viewer, as always, I appreciate every single one of you. If you can just show me your appreciation by dropping that thumbs up, leave me a comment to show YouTube you're enjoying this sort of content and allows me to make more videos like these. But there's plenty more builds, plenty more escaping to come. We've got about six projects lined up now. So if now is not the best time to subscribe, I don't know when it is. But I think that's enough of me waffling on for one day. A massive thanks for checking out today's video, and I'll see you in the next one.